amidst difficulties and challenges, do you see the light at the end of the tunnel? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Stories of people who have responded in grace to hard trials are a tremendous encouragement to our faith. Reading about their tests of faith, hardships, weakness, and ultimate victory inspires and strengthens us. Suffering does indeed test us and is used by our great and loving God to make us more like His Son, Jesus. Perhaps most of us have heard the story of Cory Ten Boom. The Ten Boom family was not Jewish, but they stood up for the Jews as the Nazis began to persecute them in conquered Netherlands. The Ten Booms then were mightily used by God in developing an underground conduit for smuggling Jews out of the country and out of Nazis' hands. This went on until they were discovered and the Ten Boom sisters were sent to the Nazi death camps where they suffered incredibly. Yet, grace shone through, faith deepened, and God greatly used their story later to bring many to Christ as strengthened Christians throughout the world. The film of their testimony is indeed very moving. Hiding Place Movie In today's Gospel reading, Jesus makes an analogy of the pain a mother experiences during labor. The mother suffers much pain, but the pain disappears as she rejoices in seeing her newborn child. This is exactly what happened to the apostles. When Jesus was arrested, tortured, and crucified, they were terrified, disappointed, and despondent. However, after the resurrection, the apostles experienced great joy. By the time of Pentecost, they were fully empowered to continue the mission to the ends of the earth and proclaim the gospel of salvation. As the famous line goes, there is no gain without pain. Indeed, no success without sacrifice. No glory without grief and certainly no resurrection without Calvary. Life is full of pain and suffering, but when they are offered for the glory of God, they become instruments for our mortification and sanctification. When that happens, God will grant us the strength to bear the pain and the wisdom to learn from the suffering. The strength and wisdom from God are enough reasons to be joyful and to have peace of mind. Jesus assures us of His presence in our lives until the end of time. This alone gives us a joy that no one can take away from us. This is in far contrast to the temporary joy that humans get from worldly sources. This is the reason why Jesus urged His disciples to obey His commandments and to abide in His love so that their joy may be full. Let us pray in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we offer our sorrow 
grief, and wounds to you. We believe in your power and hold on to your promise that whatever we ask you through your Son, Jesus, it will be granted. We pray for strength, wisdom, and renewal. May our grief and sorrow be turned into joy and our wounds be healed by your grace through your Son, our Lord and Savior. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.